What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to check for a draw on your system to see if your battery is bad or if you have something sucking the battery down and causing it to die. Now I do recommend your battery is decently charged if not fully charged to do this because we do want to have uh, the 12 volts to complete the circuit and check for the draw. If you have a weak battery you could get some wonky readings so I would run your vehicle uh, or put your battery on a charger to make sure it's fully charged and to get the most accurate reading, I do recommend disconnecting the battery. However, on newer vehicles like this 2018 Jeep Compass, you wanna have a memory saving device plugged into the OBD2 port. That way you don't lose all your battery data. Uh, newer vehicles can be very picky. If you disconnect the battery or replace the battery without power supplied to the OBD port to save the memory of everything, uh, you could replace the battery or disconnect it and then hook it back up and then have no power. So we don't want that to happen. Now there's several different devices and styles you can get of this. I got a 12 volt outlet one. It's just a memory saving device I got for like 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll try to link a few down below in the video description if you wanna buy them. But all you're gonna do is plug it in your OBD2 port under the dash here. It's a trapezoid shape. You can only plug in one way. And then this particular one has a 12 volt outlet. I am gonna hook that to my 12 volt portable battery here. A little jump pack and then turn this on there we go once we have this powered up or if you have your battery saver cable connected to a 12 volt battery either or as long as it's connected to a constant power source you should be good depending on your vehicle the battery cable hardware may be different sizes on this 2018 jeep compass it is a 10 millimeter i usually recommend removing the ground first as if there's no ground then it doesn't matter if there's any power nothing can happen so i'm just gonna loosen that wiggle up all right so now to check for a load on the system there are several different options i'm using this one right here it's just a matco i can turn it on it's digital uh it says 0.3 but i can zero it and then what i'm going to want to do is i'll leave either the positive or the negative hooked up it doesn't really matter i usually leave the positive hooked up uh, disconnect the negative from the battery and then i'm going to touch this to here we're basically completing the circuit from the ground uh, cable to the ground post on the battery and that is going to tell us how many amps of draw we have now is it right away you see you have eight amps uh, that is because the vehicle door is open and all that so you need to make sure that the door is shut everything is powered down and uh even after everything's powered down and the door is shut you want to wait a few minutes you'll see this amperage drop down as certain devices power down in some instances, it can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes for a vehicle to fully power down, uh, especially once the security system sets and all that. So you need to be patient, especially if you have a newer vehicle. All right, it's been a few minutes now, just a couple minutes. And as you can see, it has dropped from like eight amps or six amps, something ridiculously high down to 0.4. Uh, that is still a little bit high. Uh, in my opinion, I like to see 0.2 or less, but as you can see, it's fluctuating between uh, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3, 0 0.5. So we're gonna leave it a few more minutes and just make sure everything's powered down. And boom, there we go. It is fluctuating between zero and 0 0.1, just touches 0 0.2 sometimes. That is about your average. You do not wanna see more than 0 0.2, 0 0.3, uh, unless you got a dash cam or something else that is drawing down power. When the ignition is off, you should not really see more than 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Uh, see, I broke the connection. It jumped up to one amp for a second when I reconnected it. So like I said, we are under the 0 0.2, 0 0.3 mark. We really don't have anything drawing the battery down. And if nothing is drawing the battery down, that's one of two things. Either the battery itself is bad or the alternator is not charging it sufficiently. And since it runs perfectly fine when it's going down the road, I'm betting the alternator is fine and our draw is not excessive. So I'm gonna go with bad battery. Once you're done checking for a draw, you can go ahead and reconnect your battery or replace it, whatever you need to do. But I just kind of wanted to show you uh, the basic circuit function of how to check for a draw. Like I said, it doesn't necessarily matter uh, if you do positive or negative. You just have to leave one connected, disconnect the other one, and then uh, hook up your draw meter, your amp meter, in line between the loose cable and the uh, empty battery terminal and that will give you your reading like i said uh, in some instances it may take 15 plus minutes for everything to power down so i recommend using uh, extension wire leads with alligator clips so you can just clip everything uh, from like here to the battery and here to the cable that way you don't have to hold it like i did 
I don't have leads with me right now, so I had to hold it. But that is how you do it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below with any questions. Check out my other videos here on YouTube and check me out on all my socials. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.